Hey everybody, my name is Nathaniel Dodds and I run the Covenanter Monthly Pamphlet Program over at covenanter.org slash pamphlets. You can head over there and check out all of the pamphlets that we have reprinted and published. Uh, you can pick up any of the back issues for $12 each or you can subscribe for just $10 a month and that will get you each and every brand new pamphlet each month that we reprint, republish, uh, delivered directly to your mailbox for your viewing and reading pleasure. Now this month, April of 2018, we have a short account of Mr. Thomas Nairn by... Mr. Thomas Nairn. To give you an idea of what this booklet's about, I'm going to read here an excerpt from the back of the book. With their renewal of the covenants in 1743, the Associate Presbytery, the Secession, saw the departure of Reverend Thomas Nairn, who disagreed with their views on the manner accommodating this renewal to the times. In their act for renewing the covenants, the seceders condemned the views of the old dissenters, that is, covenanters, over their views regarding the use of arms in resisting uncovenanted governments. In his short account, Mr. Nairn explains why he objected to this statement and dissented from the action of the seceder presbytery in adopting that resolution condemning those who were opposed to the civil authority of the then civil authority. Through this controversy, two issues came into focus as defining the position of seceders versus covenanters. The first was the issue of the wording of deeds purporting to be covenant renewals. Mr. Nairn thought it best to use the words of the original covenant, limiting any emendations to accommodations for the time and circumstance of those renewing the covenant. The second issue considers the relation of covenant renewal amongst the seceders, members of the Associate Presbyterian Church, to the civil part of the Scottish Second Reformation. Nairn discovered that his views were the same as that of the United Societies, which had remained separate from the Church of Scotland since its revolution establishment in 1690. Thus, in 1743, he joined the Reverend John Macmillan and established the Reformed Presbytery, ordained several ministers, and helped to organize the scattered Covenanters into congregations. The controversy from his time with the Associate Presbytery followed him into this new connection, and the remainder of the century saw many theological works produced on each side. To Mr. Nairn's short account is added his sermon at the ordination of Mr. Marshall, outlining the character and responsibility of ministers. This has prefixed to it a first-hand account of the erecting of the Reformed Presbytery in 1743. So there you have it, a short account of Mr. Thomas Nairn by Mr. Thomas Nairn himself. You can check this out. You can pick up a copy of it for yourself, again, over at covenanter.org pamphlets. Thank you very much.